Hey there guys, did the clock event save TTD? In today's video, we're gonna find out. So the first place to start looking at is of course, the main like Roblox menu. So in here guys, I told y'all, you know, this game was down bad. It was down to like 39,000 players. And I mean, hey, in all honesty, that's still amazing, but it's back up to 384,000 players. So boom, TTD is back. See, they just needed to drop some updates and people be playing again. I told y'all, so that's a good sign right there. But now we got to check out the actual update itself. So let's just click the event button over here. It says rewind event. A rift in time is open that leads back to old toilet tower defense. That's pretty sick. A lot of clock men came through this rift, but were followed by magnet toilets. Uh-oh. Play LG maps or clock mode to earn clocks to buy the time crate, boosts, or gems. But watch out for the magnet toilets. So click here to enter the OG map. So here we go. Wish me luck, guys. I'm jumping in for the first time here. And yo, look at this. So boys, I remember like making my first video on this map. And like, you know, you kind of just like run around as a YouTuber, like while you make your video and whatnot. And I was kind of like, just like jumping around on these little side things here. It was just a, an old vibe. I don't know if you guys remember doing that either, but I remember like climbing up on top of these buildings right here. This is so nostalgic, actually. That is so crazy, guys. I wonder if there's going to be like the other OG maps that come back too. That'd be kind of funny and neat to see. But I mean, yeah, this is definitely the most OG map. Comment, like, and subscribe if you guys were playing this game when this map was actually in the game. Because I was. I actually was an OG to this game. So, were you? Big question. I know. Hopefully you were. It was pretty cool to experience. But now you guys all get to experience it regardless. So, look at this. Episode 55 update. Yo, that's crazy. They've just added the uh, triple flying jetpack guy. That This is just wild, guys. All right, though. Hey, regardless here, lobby portals. So that's not what we want to do. That takes us back to the lobby. This is the crate shop thingy right here. So, hey, here we go. I think there's 60 tiers, guys. Now, is this going to take a while to get through? Oh, my goodness, guys. Absolutely. But that's okay. It's going to be worth it. So tier 40 plus more tiers coming soon in the clock event part two update. Okay, so we can only get up to tier 40 right now, which is totally fine with me. We'll get there. And then, hey, maybe next week there's going to be a new update. So thank goodness, guys. But then we get the missions. The missions seem the same as always. And then here's the crate, guys. Check this out. Uh-oh. Look at this. We got... It's a piercing one, guys. No way. That is going to be so good. It's a 0.0001%. Did I say too many O's there? Two zeros. One, one. That's crazy. That is rare, 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 rare. One exists right now. And we've been, what, how long has this update been out so far, guys? 30 minutes. Only one exists. Holy smokes. Talantric is going to get rich off this crate, guys. What in the world? One, two, three, four, five, six. Just in the time crate alone. That's crazy. That's awesome. Let me know if you guys are going to be trying to get the upgraded Titan Clock, man. I'm definitely going to try. I want him. Because, I mean, check that out, guys. He's a piercing unit. That is so sick. It's going to be better than the other one. That's for darn sure. And uh, I hope to get him someday. But, hey, regardless, we are going to jump into the first match here. And we're going to try out the new Time Factory map. Now, obviously, I would love to try out these ones and stuff. Look at that classic red brick texture there. That was so funny. Here, man, HQ, Toad City. Oh, man, this is just uh, a beautiful sight to see. Then you got the OG little thing here. Today's date. <laughs> Pretty interesting. I don't remember that being up there. But here we go, guys. Let's jump into the Time Factory and let's see how good this map is truly is so it could be good could be great we're gonna find out together and it's gonna be pretty interesting guys it's definitely gonna be pretty interesting here so i am excited to see oh okay okay i see you looks like a pretty futuristic city i could say so kind of let's see what's the track looking like though track is oh, i'm trying to decide here guys is the track easy or is the track hard i don't know it seems like pretty, pretty long but there's not really too many good spots to place down troops. I mean, right here would be pretty decent. And over here would be really good. Oh, this is where they start over here. So, actually, yeah, it'll, it'll be okay, I think. Pretty pretty semi-decent track. Looks like it's pretty long. And also, the only problem would be if, like, you know, you don't have a unit that could cover, like, this area here. But I think the mewing should be able to cover all this. It's tough to say. We're going to find out soon, guys. And, of course, I'm going to put on auto-skip. We're going to see if we can beat this auto-skip only. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to, but I'm going to try with a pretty simple loadout here. 
so that way you guys know for yourself in the future if you guys are gonna actually be able to beat this i was just getting ready to use my extra money ability because i could get my next santa but i can't do that because i'm not playing the right mode guys no but that's okay though i'll be okay i'll be okay i should be okay here i hope so if not well that would be a bad way to lose my first match ever in the new event. Now, wouldn't it, guys? But, hey, we're going to be fine, I think. So, let's get the job done here. And we should be okay. Now, come on. I'm going to have to put him over here on this side if he's uh, going to take that long. Jeez. All right. There we go. It finally skipped. So, we're already on wave four. Now, I'm assuming there's only 50 waves for this mode. So, this uh, shouldn't really take you guys too, too long if you, you know, are going for this, uh, you know, clock event mode record or whatever. Not, it doesn't have to even be a record, per se. But... You know, if you're just trying to beat the map, get some clocks, then, you know, we're going to find out together how doable it is and how quick you could actually do it. So make sure you guys watch this video until the end, and we're going to find out. Now, guys, while these easy waves are going by, I do want to let you guys know on my website that we are going to be updating this with all the new clock units probably later tonight when the values are kind of more so stabilized, maybe even tomorrow when they stabilize even more. But also, regardless, guys, I still got all the old values on here. So just go to the Toilet Tower Defense page. And if you're a big trader, check out, you know, look up any value you need. Anything's on here, guys. Everything for you, all right? So happy trading. But also, don't forget, on my active giveaway page, I got a Roblox giveaway going on right now for a super OP unit. It's going to be held at 510,000 subs. We already hit that goal because you guys are that awesome. Yeah, I said it. And we're going to pick the winner pretty soon, guys. So you still have time to enter, though. Use your email. Click this. Enter your Roblox name, your email, fake email. I don't care. Just as long as you give me your Roblox name, you're good to go. Agree. And then enter your tickets, guys. Don't forget to do that on my website. Once again, ltcrazy.com. There's going to be a link, like, in the pinned comment or in the description. Just click one of those. It'll take you to my website. And then, boom, you're good to go. So just don't forget to do that because you're not going to want to miss out. It's a great, great, great opportunity to win something really good by doing absolutely nothing besides, you know, entering a ticket or two. So, fairly, fairly simple, guys. Oops, hopefully you didn't hear my phone there. If you did, my bad. I got my ringer on. I got to turn that off. I always forget to do that when I wake up in the morning. Had my alarm clock on. All right, wave nine, though. Here we go, guys. We should probably get this dude upgraded here pretty darn soon, but I can't afford it yet because I'm broke. But so far, the mewing, I mean, you guys already know. The mewing, he gets the job done. If he can make it to wave 100 in endless mode, I mean, it only we, we can only tell and assume how far he can make it in the Titan clock mode, right? I mean, he should be able to make it regardless. Like, I would say 40, 30s easily. Now, he could have gotten nerfed, which is something that I don't know if he did or not. It's not looking like he did. But then again, these units are also a little bit different. They come in like harder waves and stuff. So... Who knows, guys? I mean, look at this Parasite Tilt. He actually got by. I don't know if he's going to kill us. Hopefully not. I'm going to have to, you know, play a little, little bit more careful here, I feel like. I don't know about these guys. It, it's getting a little bit sketchy. I'm going to put down a Speaker of Paradrone just in case. And then I'll even put down a Leprechaun here just to, just to help out a little bit more. Because I know how strong Leprechauns are in this game. They're pretty OP. I ain't even going to lie. So that should definitely help us out in the long run. But now, as you guys can see here, we got like a bunch of these mutant toilets. So that's not good. And that little cat guy just like snuck through somehow. I don't even know how, but he did. Let's get the next upgrade on the mewing. Oh, that cat guy actually got by like all the way. What the heck? Well, we're going to have to get down another mewing right there. And let's see if he gets him. Come on. Can he get him? He did not get him there, guys. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh, wait. Is that going to kill us? Please don't kill us. Wow, that almost killed us, guys. Okay, well, we're going to sell these because they're a waste of my money. And then we're going to build up these guys a little bit more as well. So, luckily for us now, the range is going up. But we got the buzzsaw here. That could be a little bit trouble. That's definitely not good for us. We should be okay, though. There we go. We're fine. We're fine. So far, so good. We're going to go ahead and get down a nice little DJ TV man to help out. Because I feel like any extra help that we could get here, the better off we're going to be, right? So there we go. We'll get him down. That's going to help increase our damage by 15% so far and decrease our cooldown by a little bit as well. So all around, that's going to be pretty useful for, you know, everyone here on the team, at least. So we'll definitely take that any day of the week. And we got the first big boss on the map now, guys. He's the Mutant 2.0. He is getting hit a lot right now. But look, what is this unit? The Magnet Toilet, the first one. So apparently they do something special, I think. I've never uh, seen it yet because... 
you know obviously they are uh a little bit different they're they're a new like type of unit so we're gonna have to find out together if it's tough if it's not you know we're gonna we're gonna see here soon looks like we took him out there relatively easily but he did get kind of far so that's kind of concerning but so far so good i think we're gonna be okay here let's upgrade our leprechaun a little bit too because in a little bit he'll be able to start reaching out to that side of the track and then he'll be able to attack all those guys as they try to get through our defense here so that should be fairly good for us now here we go with some more of these like super quick cat toilets we should be fine though looking good looking good looking good guys now let's move on to the next ones we got some giant glasses vacuums nothing that should uh, really you know kill us here anytime soon so let's go ahead though we'll upgrade our leprechaun and as you guys can see now he is actually able just him alone to attack these guys over here now ideally i'm going to start getting some of the mewings towards this way now what that's going to allow me to do is it's going to allow me to attack both sides of the track all at once which is going to be super 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 strong for my team here so that's that's the plan you know it might take a little bit of money but i think that we are going to be able to get there soon hopefully sooner rather than later i should probably save up and get that max upgrade maybe i should actually upgrade these because if i don't you know that's just gonna be a waste of money opportunity right there we might as well get those farm units upgraded because it could be worth it it definitely could be worth it now let's go ahead and let's see here so we got a lot more bosses coming our way the boss shouldn't be too too big of a deal but they might be they might not be though we might be fine here i hope we're fine we'll see soon guys we'll see soon what wave are we on right now wave 22 so this i feel like is actually harder than endless mode so maybe this is going back more towards the roots of being like the uh halloween mode when how like you know, i don't know if you guys were playing during the halloween event and this is the throwback event so hopefully most of you guys were here for the the og days but if you do remember the halloween event that mode was super super hard this is kind of feeling like that kind of in a way so i don't know if it has anything to do with it or not but you know maybe maybe it does all right let's get some more upgrades we got the one mewing maxed out now so that is very very good for our team that's going to basically allow us to you know do tons of damage here just by maxing out one of those guys it's definitely more worth it than like having 20 of them down that are just level one so always remember that guys upgrading is key don't worry about placing uh too many down just focus up on the upgrade because that is going to help you out much much more in the long run so that's what we're going to do with that we should be chilling for now now i do could uh you know there, there's another upgrade there for that dj tv we could upgrade him one more time so that's good he's maxed out now now we could get some more santas maybe upgraded here we just need a little bit more money and then we could do that and then in the meantime this guy the leprechaun he's going to be good to max out as well because he is uh, a big booster for my team he increases the range of all the mewings by 10 percent so this mewing right here he normally would not be able to reach that side of the track from like where his uh, position is but he could actually reach now so looking good looking good there we go wave 27 let's see here these airplane toilets always do kind of scare me a little bit because they could get by because they're, they're fast and they also have a lot of hp you got to be careful with those but looks like we're able to uh take them out fairly easily now so what i might start to do here i don't know if this is going to be smart or not but i'm kind of thinking about moving the army towards this way now is that necessary no probably not maybe we don't have to we could just kind of like put them all down right here i guess i was thinking about doing that because i could just like you know take out the waves quicker but it's really not worth it because then i have to delete my dj and move him on over there at some point and the speaker repair drone and the leprechaun so that kind of just seems like a little bit of a disaster and a little bit of a waste of money especially if there's only 50 waves you know we might uh, run out of time to upgrade all these guys so let's just get down what we could and then going from there we could just you know simply just do our thing and upgrade more mewings but i probably should get the leprechaun upgraded at least one more time here because as you guys can see he's gonna do a lot more damage and plus his range is going to uh go up to that plus 10 instead of plus 8 here so you can see that the mewings range is up even more now more than before so it is definitely definitely really good and something that we're gonna go with so here we go let's see now we get the ufo toilet nothing that's too too bad for us we should be fine here and anything else here 7500 on this guy looking pretty good looking okay i would say let's see here 7500 i just need 500 more dollars we should be able to get that hopefully 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 
you know, very, very shortly here. If we don't, is it going to be a problem? Probably not at this point, I don't think. But is it going to be annoying? Yeah, because we really, really want to do this. So hopefully we could. But there it is. Just needed one wave skip there, guys. So that we got that one and we got this one upgraded. So that's two more mewings maxed out on wave 33 alone. We're only 11 minutes into this match. And, you know, these, these magnet toilets, these new, you know, brand new guys to the game, they don't stand a chance. So I think that if you guys kind of follow along with what I'm doing here, you're going to be okay. Truly. Truly, truly, truly. You're going to be just fine, guys. Now, we got the Buzz Sod Toilet. This dude used to give me problems back in the day. He has 300k HP, but I don't think it's going to be too, too big of a deal now. Also, I have a Mewing over there. I got to delete him and move him on over to the main army. What am I doing? There we go, guys. We got to upgrade that guy. Boom. There we go. He's maxed out. So, that's another dude that uh, could really, really, you know, do some damage here. Now, watch this, guys. I'm going to just put one guy over there, and let's see what he could do. Let's see how much damage just one Mewing over by the spawn could actually do. So keep in mind, it's going to slow enemies down and it's always going to be attacking at all times. So it, it might truly be a good idea to actually start moving them on over there. Because look at this. He's, he's doing so much damage already. Just one. And is that one maxed out? He's not even maxed out, guys. Look, look at this. He's basically able to kill all these guys before they even get and do anything. So pretty crazy. Pretty OP how good these uh, mewing units are. I hope that there's like a, a new clock unit that's as good as the mewing. That would be pretty cool. I don't know if there necessarily is or not, but we're going to find out. But here, here we go. Look at this. So we got one maxed out now. And look at this. He's killing them all. Check that out. They're all dead. Yep. Just like that. They're all dead. So that's really good to see. Let's move the Leprechaun because now we know how OP this uh, like army is going to be. We'll move a Leprechaun right here. So that's going to be uh, really good to boost the range of my teammates. And also it's going to attack all these guys super duper easily. So these dudes are all maxed out now. The two mewings in the front here. We got a glitch toilet on the track. That's kind of sketchy. He is stunned right now, though. So that glitch toilet. I don't know. There's two glitch toilets on wave 38, guys. See, this is new. There isn't normally glitch toilets on wave 38. So I'm telling y'all that uh, this mode is a little bit harder. I, I said it. I knew it from the start because it seemed like the enemies were getting kind of farther than they normally would. And uh, I kind of just had a, a little bit of a strange feeling. And my feeling definitely came true because these guys are crazy so here we go though we got some ovens the ovens shouldn't be a big deal i guess uh we can move some more mewings on over i don't want to delete the good ones over there first because i just want to make sure if any of these units do get by i could actually cover myself on this uh, other side of the track and then later on we could of course sell them and just kind of keep on moving them on over moving them on over and moving them over it's always good to have your units towards the front of the track where the enemies spawn because if they do get by you you can always delete them and replace them down later on so that way if i lose here I could just kind of like move my guys maybe over here in this corner or even like here. Just kind of, you know, move them twice. You can even move them as many times as you want if you have enough money. All right, let's get that guy upgraded again. So it looks like some of these magnet guys are fairly strong though. I mean, look at him. He's got 4 milli HP. So that's a lot. Is it going to be enough to kill us? I don't think so. I think we should be able to handle it. But definitely quite a bit here, guys. Definitely quite a bit. Now... It looks like if I get down like one or two more of the mewing guys, that is what might be the, the game changer here for us. Now, I wish my leprechaun was shooting the guys in the front. That would be much, much more helpful. He is not. So that kind of stinks. But he will be soon. There we go. And now he's going to stop again, of course. But that's okay. We're going to get down another uh, little mewing guy right there. And once again, that's going to truly, truly help us out a bunch. Get down another one as well. Just, you know, it's, it's time to time to put the uh, magnet toilets back where they came from all right boom there we go we got another one down and i could probably do another one here because every time i sell one i basically get enough money to put down a whole another one and max him out except for that one there we go now he's maxed out but at, at this point guys the leprechaun is focusing straight up on the beginning of the track we're taking him out super fast here now it, it's pretty much game over for all these toilets you know magnet you know normal bosses it doesn't even matter at this point they're just they're just done it's over all right so let's move these two guys on out of there we don't need them there anymore so we get this guy here now once again i'm not gonna place down another dj there's no reason to do that i just need to have one so that's actually gonna help me do more damage in the long run anyways that's good that is definitely definitely good for our army here we do need one more wave skip though in order to get a teeny tiny bit more money and then we could essentially 
you know, really, really, really clutch up here. So, boom. There we go with that. And we got another mewing here. I think I could put down one more. And then I'm going to sell my, my Santas over there. I'm not going to sell them yet because I want to get a little bit more money. And then when I have more money, we could sell them. When we sell them, we'll be chilling. So, here we go. But uh, for right now, I still need some more just in order to max this guy out. So, there we go, guys. We got him maxed out. Now, we're on wave 48. I don't know if this actually goes to 60 or 50. Because I remember on the Easter event, the map used to actually go to wave 60. So, this very, very, very well could be taking us to wave 60 here. Which is definitely not a big deal. But it's something that you guys should keep in mind. That, you know, maybe this game mode might be to wave 60. I don't know. It could be a little bit harder if it is to wave 60. Ideally, if you could get six slots, or maybe just uh, instead of bringing in like the speaker of Paradrone like I have on, because you don't need him in this game anymore, you just need to have an Astro, and he'd probably be better. I forgot that my loadout was a little bit different in uh, Endless Mode because I have six units unlocked, and my sixth unit is the Astro. So I always have, you know, six plus the Astro. Now, obviously, in the normal mode, you can't do that. Unfortunately, I have a one slot that I normally bring in that's not there so my astro is not on my team right now but that's okay i don't think we're gonna need him here it looks like my army is fairly fine but what is that unit right there that looks like a new guy he's dead instantly though so he must not be too good that toilet that's okay though better that way it's better that way guys right i think it's better that way i don't want to die what is that yo the magnet titan toilet i've never seen that before but my boy has 16 million hp guys that is a lot of HP. Also, you know, instead of having a, an Astro on your team, a Clockman guy could be good too. But this is wave 50 here. And it is not seeming like... Well, no, maybe it is the end of the game. This, Yeah, this must be the end of the game, guys. I just don't have my uh, my boss UI on. No, I do. It must be bugged. Palantric Evan, if you guys are watching my video here. The uh, boss UI for the Magnet Titan Toilet is not working. You kind of scared me there for a second. But I'm glad this is only 50 waves because then the matches are quicker. 18 minutes. Under 20 minutes. If you can keep these matches, you're going to earn a lot of uh, the clocks. And then those clocks, you can turn them into the crates and hopefully get the ultimate. So, boom. Just like that, guys. 250. So, what? Wait, what? Pumpkin patch. What the heck? It's bug. I told y'all. I told y'all it's, it's the difficulty of the pumpkin patch. And literally, it's the pumpkin patch right there. That's kind of funny. All right, though. Let's see here. What else could we do now? We Oh, it takes you back to this lobby. That kind of stinks. Hopefully, they could fix that. So, it takes you to the other place. Now, what is this little room right here? I don't even know. Um, hmm. You can't go through it, though. That's weird. I don't know what that is, guys. That's kind of goofy. But uh, let's go ahead and jump back on in there. And I just want to take a peek at the... Uh, rewind event shop one more time before we wrap up this video because who knows if i can buy something for ourselves i don't know if 250 is enough is it going to be enough well i definitely got some now because i got these uh missions completed so shop so each one is 300 guys let's open up one together here okay you guys ready let's see if we can do this boys time crate let me sign it real quick the time crate oh boy imagine yo guys if i pull the ultimate first try here i'm just insane okay you ready Let's do this. Come on. Ultimate. First try. Wait. Oh, I'm trying. I'm signing and then unsigning. I'm an, I'm an idiot. All right. Open it. Come on. Where's it at? Here we go. Click it for luck. Click it for luck. Come on. Pendulum clock, man. Uh, uh, rare. That's not good. What, what are the odds on that rare, guys? Is he any good? Oh, that was the worst one I could have got. 45%. Well, that sucks, guys. Oh, well. You win some. You lose some. In today's case, I lost some. That's okay, though. Hey, we'll get them next year. All right, guys? We'll get them next year in the next video. I'm going to teach you guys maybe how to beat that map super quick or something like that. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Drop a comment. Drop a like. Drop a sub. All that stuff helps me out a ton. This update definitely saved Toilet Tower Defense, so I'm glad to see that. And uh, I'll be seeing you guys hopefully later tonight in my stream. So see you then. Adios.